Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have the 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited to show you. And to be honest, there isn't much change for the 23 model here on the Limited trim. So like I mentioned, there's not much to cover here for the 23 mod year, specifically on the limited trim. Now I also did a video on the base SEL, so make sure to check that one out. That one had a bunch more changes um, in comparison to this 23 limited. In terms of pricing, the limited went up $640 from the last mod year, and overall that is a fairly modest increase with today's world of inflation, supply chain issues, uh, parts shortages, everything like that. So $640 more for the limited all wheel drive here. So that's really not too bad, and I consider that a win overall for the consumer. And in terms of changes, there's not much to cover here on the Limited, but there is one worth mentioning, and that is that all Santa Fe's with the 10.25 inch infotainment system now have over the air updates. Now, how that's going to work is to be determined, and I have not seen an over there update uh, push to these vehicles as of yet. Now, there are a couple features that trickle down to the SEL premium package that you had to get the Limited or Calligraphy in the last mod year. So those two features are the blind spot view monitor system and the surround view monitor system. So those are now available on the 2023 SEL Premium instead of the Limited and Calligraphy as before. But outside of this, there's really not too much else to mention here on the Limited, but let's go ahead and take a look at this one and show you what you get. So the Santa Fe I have in front of us today is a 2023 Santa Fe Limited all-wheel drive finished in Portofino gray with the black leather interior. Now I really do like this gray in the Hyundai lineup. It gives it a nice premium look with the metallic finish you can see here in the sunlight. Overall, I do really like this gray. Up front, this is the same front end and overall design as the 2021 in newer Santa Fe. So there's not much change here, especially on the limited like I mentioned. Daytime running lights have a unique design signature that runs into the headlamp assembly. These are the LED projector headlights on the limited and calligraphy models. You do have that upgraded chrome finished front grille with the trim at the bottom of the front bumper. Definitely gives it a more high-end appearance overall. And you do have front parking sensors as well on the Limited. Coming to the wheels and tires, these are your 19-inch alloy wheels with the machine slash gray finish. The tires are 235-55 19-inch continental cross-contact all-season tires. Just a nice standard issue all-season. Now the Limited does have the black trim along the bottom, whereas the Calligraphy will have body color trim. So that is one difference between the two models and trims. The mirrors have your LED integrated turn signals on the side, as well as your parking camera system. Blind spot detection, as well as they are heated. You can see more of that chrome trim along the bottom of the Limited. Satin door handles, the chrome trim around the windows, and the satin chrome roof rails as well. This does have Hyundai Digital Key 1, so you can use your Android compatible smartphones to unlock and use a key in the vehicle. Coming to the back, you'll find your LED taillights on the Limited. Incandescent reverse bulbs and your turn signals are down in the bumper there. Rear parking sensors, rear camera system, and this one has the accessory tow hitch option, which you don't see too often here on these vehicles, but it does have a seven pin connector and can tow up to 3,500 pounds here with the 2.5 liter turbo. So that is a cool accessory here on this specific vehicle. This is all wheel drive, like I mentioned. So you have an H-Track badge. You do have your panoramic sunroof up there, which spans the entire roof nearly. So let's go ahead and take a look on the interior where we find most of the options. So like I mentioned, this has the black leather interior. Starting out on the door panel, soft touch up top, very nicely uh, padded armrest here with some stitching, power windows, mirrors, locks. This one does have power folding mirrors as well. That's on the limited and up. Two person memory driver's seat with the upgraded Harman Kardon audio system. There's your power adjustable driver's seat with power leg extension, four-way power lumbar. And again, the leather interior. One change for the 2023 mod year is Hyundai is offering the H-Tech leatherette seating surfaces on the SEL Premium. So this is the first trim level in the Santa Fe's to get the real leather seating. I think you can definitely tell a difference between the two. So here to the left of the steering wheel, gauge illumination, lane keeping, your power trunk, 
traction control off, as well as your electronic parking brake, manual tilt telescoping steering wheel, and the dash has more of the uh, accent stitching as well. Overall flows very nice with the door panels. Definitely a very dark interior overall uh, compared to some of the beige interiors or the lighter color interiors. So that is something to note. Go ahead and turn it on since it is fairly warm out today. So you're immediately greeted with the digital gauge cluster. This is a 12.3 inch fully configurable cluster that changes with the drive mode. So you can see if you go into sport, changes red and uh, some of the gauges change and everything like that. Now there are some additional settings you can program in the infotainment system, which we'll go over here in a second. You have your leather wrapped steering wheel, paddle shifters on the back side. Left side features your audio, Bluetooth controls, as well as your volume. On the right side, you have your driver assistance tech with the menu option for the gauge cluster. See cycling through some of that options right there. This does have highway driving assist one, automatic headlights with auto high beam assist. There's your automatic rain sensing wiper stock. In terms of the gauge cluster though, you can configure quite a few options here. There's your all wheel drive setting, shows you where the power is being distributed. Some of your driver assistance tech. But yeah, very nice cluster overall. Paired with that, you have your 10.25 inch navigation system. This has been um, on this Santa Fe, Santa Fe since the 21 model year. And like I said, this receives over the air update capability for this model year. Now I have not seen one do an update over the air, uh, but that is something to be aware of with this one that you shouldn't have to update it via the USB port anymore that it should receive over the air updates. Now in terms of the cluster configurations, if you go into setup, screen layout, and then link to drive mode cluster theme selection, you can set an additional theme here as cube and it'll change the entire layout. Of course you have all your different layouts there. Uh, but overall, I definitely uh, like that you can change that here in the infotainment system. Like I said, built-in navigation, uh, wired Android Auto, wired Apple CarPlay. Uh, but overall, very intuitive system. You have your different driver profiles you can set that uses the memory seating, so it saves all your settings to those profiles. Very nice. All your physical controls, dual zone, automatic climate control, push button gear selection, heated steering wheel on the limited, auto hold, stop start off here's your drive mode selection because this is all-wheel drive you have a center differential lock which will send power 50 50 front and rear hill descent control parking sensors off along with your 360 parking camera show you different views there very handy system overall definitely high resolution too here on the santa fe heated and ventilated front seats there's your USB-A port and your wireless phone charger, which is a vertical one here in the Santa Fe. This is also your digital key slot. So if you have a compatible Android smartphone, you can go ahead and put it in here and this will act as your digital key slot. Two cup holders. Here's your proximity key fob. This car does have remote smart parking assist, so you can pull the car front and back uh, with the key fob, remote start on the fob as well as your Blue Link app. Padded armrest. Not much to show in there, just a lot of additional storage. And speaking of additional storage, I really like with all Santa Fe's, you have this extra cubby below the center console. You have an additional USB port as well as a 12 volt outlet down here. This is, the more space, the better in my opinion, but overall this dash is very nice here in the limited. You have accent stitching, all soft touch up here around the glove box. It is damped, lots of space inside there, but overall I am really impressed here with the front of the Santa Fe Limited. Up top, speaking of the interior, you do have a lighter color interior which helps brighten up um, this all black interior for the most part. There's some lighting up there. Auto dimming mirror with garage home link. Interior LED illumination. And you have your panoramic sunroof controls, of course, blue link, SOS. I do like how fast the shade moves. That's just a you know small detail, but uh, they are slow from time to time. But this one moves very nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat. Like I mentioned in some of my other Santa Fe videos, the door opening is very large and there's a lot of space in the back seat for families and stuff like that. You do have rear view uh, shades on the side doors. 
This is an error actually on Hyundai's part. When I was doing the model year changes video for the Santa Fe's, they listed that the SEL and up gets these shades. However, for the 23 model year, it's the SEL premium and up gets those shades. So that's just something to note uh, from my last video. Padded armrest, this is all soft touch on the door, so that is a difference uh, from some of those lower trims. Two-stage heated rear seats. Again, your Harman Kardon audio system. Adjustable seat backs, which I have reclined here to its maximum position. So that shows you just how much the rear seat back will recline. It's quite a bit and you can get very comfortable in the back seat. So here in the back, you have your AC vents, two USB ports, along with a 115 volt outlet, 150 watts, one mat pocket in the back seat. But overall, a very nice interior here on the limited trim. And I think you get a very good value overall for the cost. There's your center armrest with two cup holders, nicely padded. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish up here on the trunk. And if you've seen any of my other Santa Fe videos, you'll know that there's a lot of additional storage space in the back. But there you can see your power lift gate. As far as storage goes, here's the back. There is an inflator kit, it looks like, right there. And of course, more storage up front. With the Harman Kardon audio system, you do have a subwoofer here on the left side of the trunk. Power release second row seats for the folding function, as well as a 12 volt outlet. So wrapping it up here on the passenger front, you'll immediately see you do have a partially power or a fully power passenger seat, excuse me, without the power lumbar. And hidden under there, you can see your external amp for the audio system. So that's what that is underneath that seat there. Uh, but yeah, very nice interior on the Limited. Definitely a step up versus some of the lower trims of the Santa Fe. Uh, but overall, yeah, very nice vehicle. So under the hood of the Santa Fe Limited in calligraphy, you'll find the 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. This makes 281 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque paired to the eight-speed wet dual-clutch transmission and either front or all-wheel drive depending on which options you select on your Santa Fe. Overall, I think this provides a nice sporty driving dynamic and definitely has quite a bit of power for this size vehicle. Uh, so it's definitely a nice upgrade over the base engine. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video on the 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. I enjoy engaging with you guys. Now, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I have a video detailing every change for the 2023 model year here on the Santa Fe. So make sure to check that out if you're curious about the changes for other trims of the Santa Fe. Like I mentioned here on the Limited, there's not too many changes. So uh, that mainly pertains to some of the SEL trim levels, including the SEL and the SEL Premium. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in those. Now, if you enjoyed watching this, this video or found it helpful please hit that like button it greatly helps out these videos and the channel and if you are new please subscribe and check out some of the other content that is available we are approaching that 1000 subscriber threshold very rapidly so i appreciate everybody's support and if you aren't subscribed please hit that subscribe button it definitely helps out the channel but once again hopefully you enjoyed watching and as always I hope to see you guys in the next one